Does smoking affect your hair transplant and the results? I'm Dr. Eric Peretz and today we're going to talk about smoking and nicotine in hair restoration surgeries. So why do we always tell patients not to smoke before their hair transplants? Well everyone knows that smoking is bad for you and if you're doing it you should probably quit it. But before coming for a hair transplant it's important that you quit a few days before and preferably just take the time to quit completely if you're going to go through this procedure and if you're going to suffer through a couple of days of not smoking you might as well quit completely. But when you smoke you inhale all sorts of toxic chemicals which then go into your bloodstream and actually decrease the amount of oxygen binding capacity that your cells have and your cells really need an oxygen rich environment in order to recover. Also what nicotine does is it constricts your blood vessels which means that less blood and less oxygenated blood is getting to the cells that really really need it in order to recover. So you know people who smoke heavily are at risk of things like infection and skin necrosis which is like the worst thing that can happen in a hair transplant. So in fact we often deny patients who are heavy smokers for this exact reason we don't want to experience complications and we don't allow patients to experience complications. So for that reason we tell you to please quit smoking.